Hi everybody, JesperGeep here for Creativo.com and today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of uh, this salt technique like this one uh, we're going to make this girl disappear up in the air basically there's several different ways you can do this but this is one I find quite easy and good looking so let's get right into it I already pre-masked our girl here so we have her pre-masked so we don't have to go through that uh, I'm then just going to go to edit transform flip vertically sorry not vertically I'm going to go to edit transform and flip horizontally so we just flip it over uh, I am then going to bring in our little uh, dark sky here this is the one I've been using uh, and then I, I like to have it around here something like that I am then going to go to going to just drag in the cliff this is also pre-masked I do this just to we can get a little bit faster on the tutorials so we don't bring it, it too long for you guys uh, now we then have our girl here she's in the back here I'm gonna pull her back and we have the cliff I'm then going to just resize her a bit so she fits the cliff a little better and I'm going to bring her on top of the cliff also because I want it to be on top like that and then we just gonna keep her like that I'm gonna bring the cliff a little bit back I don't want it to be too big and I want her to like you know jump off the cliff basically and then get sucked up in there if you say it like that uh, like that. I want her to be in the focus, so we're gonna keep her there. I'm then going to just take a brush and I am going to get down here and I'm going to take paint splatter brushes and I'm then going to just start off with, you know, starting painting her in with these. Uh, this is a bit quite long process. You have to just, you know, find the brushes you like, resize them, go over her, and then, you know, you just repeat this process all the time. Like, so I'm gonna just work around her like this. And this is just the first stage of this. So we're gonna use these brushes a lot more. And uh, let's see here, we just try to keep her yeah we try to make the effect look like she's dissolving you know like trying to think about like what would dissolve first like the furthest away from her will dissolve first and then it will dissolve less and less as we get closer so I'm going to take a small brush here and I'm going to work around these edges I want them to dissolve more like that something like that that could work I'm then just going to take a new layer we can ac actually take a little here also like that and then I take a new layer I will take one of my paint brushes and we will zoom in a little bit we want to take colors from her now so I'm going to take this skin color I am going to put it around there I'm going to scale it down a little bit we want we don't want it to be too big I am going to take another brush I'm going to take a white here I'm going to select another brush actually I'm going to bring this down not that one either this is just like what you feel that you want to use basically I'm gonna take this I'm gonna bring it out a little bit remember to take these colors from inside also and bring them out because if she was dissolving these colors would you know br they, they would fly out from her and they would start mixing in with the other colors so something like this I'm going to take also a little bit of her foot here and I'm going to make a new layer put it down below I'm going to keep working here I'm gonna take another brush this one is pretty good for this I'm still on the bottom layer now so you don't get confused and we want it to be a little bit more splatter here Let's see here. Just keep on pressing Alt and then clicking as you will then pick up her colors. And I'm going back on the top layer. I want a bit of her foot here to kind of explode out. I'm going to take a little bit of her hand here also, explode that. And I'm going to the bottom layer again. I'm taking off that hand actually and putting it on the bottom layer instead. I think that's better. Like that. And then I'm going to the top layer. I'm going to make this even smaller. And I'm actually even going to switch brush here to this one and we just make sure that we get a little bit of effect there 
and I'm going to take that I'm going to smear this down a little bit like that but I don't like that really that much this one is better and we're going to scale it down this is all about what you find looks best for your image and it's just basically trial and error make sure to change sizes though all the time if you do that it will bring your image really together I am going to just search for a little one here I know that I like let's see if it's that one nope it's not that one uh, was it that one no it wasn't that one either yep here we have it and I'm just gonna take a really you know bright white and I'm going to make her dress you know explode we want the dress to look like it's still a dress so we want it to explode a little bit more than the body I am also going to go in a little bit closer take a bit of her really dark body color here and I'm going to bring the brush down and I wanna like explode her body out here I'm gonna take a little brighter and a little darker and we take this on top like that and a brighter like that we want to you know show that her body is still here but it's getting exploded away as well so there we go and then as many people always forget is that there's still a body down here so we want to also make the body a bit explode so we take her hair here we put it on the bottom layer and we explode her hair out a little bit and then we take her dress here in the back we explode the dress out a little bit I'm gonna take and I'm gonna switch the brush then to this one make it a little bit bigger as I say this is all about trial and error what you find looks better best for your image and it's really it's kind of a tricky thing to you know get right but when you do get it right it's really awesome Let's see here we keep on like that we take a little bit of a foot here and we explode that out and we take a little bit of our arm explode that out a little bit of our arm explode that out and here we have starting to get a really good result so yes I'm going to actually go back here just take a little bit of this big brush again that one that I like and I'm actually going to take a little bit of this dark one and I'll put it on the back layer like that so we get a little bit more splatter effect out there um, and that's pretty much satisfying me so now I'm going to show you guys a really a little bit of the trick we want this also to you know get get the really effect where it pops out we want to pop it out we need to then make her um, cast a little bit of lighting you know so what we're gonna do we make a new layer go to filter change this to black first and all and then filter render clouds and we just keep on doing clouds until you find one you might like and that one I like you then go to image adjustment and we take trash hold. sorry not posterize I misclicked we take trash hold uh, there we have it and we just go okay that looks good and uh, bringing back that tool just for and then we go to select and um, we filter sorry and then we go to um, blur and we take a radial blur we go to zoom and we want this one to come from the girl so we're gonna make it like that and we're going to go uh, pretty much amount like you know max it out pretty much and then we just go okay and as you see now we have this effect you then just go to you can go to screen for example for a really bright light or you could go for a soft light if you just want a little bit and then what you do is just mask it out so we take the mask tool we just go up to a normal brush and then we just you know delete the areas we don't want and we don't want it to come from anywhere beside her body so like that and now we have her really you know exploding if we go to screen it's gonna explode even more and we can then just lower the opacity down like this and this is a good way to get her to you know look really exploding uh, and to give this another really good effect is that we could we could just you know do a, another one for sky and then just go to filter again render and clouds and there we go 
and then we just go to image adjustment threshold and go filter blur radial blur and I'm going to bring this all the way up to the top there so we're gonna get really long strokes and then to soft light and now we have a sky that actually cast light as well but it's gonna be quite bright so we're gonna lower that down a little bit like that and we're going to go to soft light for this one again like that uh, so now we have like two kind of lights we can also go to this one and we actually could change the color a little bit for it to you know get a more of a sky feeling to the color it's white sorry I uh, sometimes even the best can be a pretty idiots <laughs> like that we can just then go to you know whatever color we want maybe a little bit dark bluish um, or maybe go for a little bit more warm color like maybe light yellowish greenish something like that maybe and then just lower the opacity down actually we're gonna lower the color opacity also like that and opacity up like that now we have a little bit more of um you know a little bit more of a f effect in built uh, image and then after that we'll just do like you know the normal basic you know that you want to change your curves a little bit you want to uh, go for maybe a little bit of exposure change but I'm, I'm not really sure we're gonna have exposure change for this one but we going to probably have a little bit of a color balance you know change it a little bit to the blue lighting you know we we want a little bit blue give a little bit more dramatic effect and we also want to probably um, maybe change the levels a little bit I want it to melt together a little bit so we're gonna keep it like that I'm pretty sure and we could you know um, hue saturation and bring the saturation down a little bit and bring the hue to around uh, around there I would say and saturation a little bit more like like that and that's pretty good image to be honest and um, yeah that that's pretty much it guys like if you find this tutorial useful then please make sure to uh, subscribe to us on creativa.com and also visit our yeah homepage and if you guys uh, give me a lot not lo enough likes on this image i will make sure to uh, bring you more tutorials like this so thank you guys see you around